Please stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. Okay, so, Age of Wonders 4. Happy Tuesday. So this game, of course, is the successor to... I guess we should watch the movie first, huh? Hello, everyone. Oops. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Timing. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. So that's a gift for not paying attention at the time. So many wonders, so many ages. Okay, so again, this is the successor to uh, Age of Wonders 3, if you've never played that, it's a pretty good game. For Lich Run, uh, Liches, a Lich Run might be possible. They don't really have an undead race. Um, so, anyway, I already started, you know, play around with stuff. Up here you have your... Uh, your Pantheon leaders, you have a Pantheon name you can change the name of. Of course, we're doing Camp Kempire. Apparently, there's a progression tree here. I guess you, as you do stuff, it unlocks stuff. I don't, and I guess it, um, it, I think it's cosmetic stuff. Best I can tell, it's just cosmetic stuff. So, in this case, the first thing, the Gold Ears Clown Crown, unlock a new helm hero helmet customization option. So do all that stuff. Um, then Necromancer Hero Origin unlocks the Orb of Necromancy, requires a crown. Again, all box stuff. So this is all stuff you need to do in order to unlock this stuff. Lots of stuff to look at. If you wanted to look at it all by the game. <laughs> so anyway, there's your progression tree. All that stuff there. Uh, continues because I started. This is actually the first uh, race that I created earlier today. That's actually Veronica the Cold. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can start a new game just to show off all the options. Your destination. So you can do uh, use the basic realms. Um, or I want well, I mean, not the basic realms, but all the realms that come with the city or the this game. This is basically the map that you play on. Um, and they tell you which are beginner scenario, story round, tier one round, blah, blah, blah. Custom stuff you can do. Choose your destination. Oh, apparently it's not available to us yet. Oh, oops. Choose Gotta hit the right button. Create a realm. So you can create your own realm. So player distance. What does that actually mean? The desired distance between each player's capital. The further the distance and the higher the number of players, the higher the, the bigger the map will be. So you can do that. Number of players. So select number of players for this game. Difficulty, of course, and turns. Classic turns or simultaneous turns. Simultaneous turns is probably the best way to go for multiplayer, I would think. Move runs so their turns at the same time. Once each player has ended their turn, the next round will begin. Yeah, it's probably that's a multiplayer thing. Which we will probably be taking a look at this Thursday with cat gear. Anyway, so you can create your own, you know, world setup. But you don't have to. Uh, go back. Choose your destination. So otherwise just, you know, choose something here. Beginner, story realm. So story realms are blonde and we wonder. Uh, prepare yourself for the clash with the returning wizard king of old and rise in power to claim a greater destiny. That. Um, Sun Champion built up a new home. Yeah, that's, we'll just do beginner scenario just to get the hook handle of everything. Um, so do that. 
return Wizard Kings of Parade, blah blah blah. Difficulty will at least go hard. And I'm a seasoned veteran of strategy games. Ha ha ha. Here, you so. have the unique ability to create your empire. And these are your factions that you can create. Custom. I already did. Veronica the Cold. Veronica the Cold is. Can you edit? Yeah, you can edit. What is your people's form? So Elfkin. So they're keen sighted and arcane focus, which that means. Keen sighted is they have plus twenty percent accuracy on physical, range, and magical attacks. Arcane focus. Magic attacks deal fifteen percent more damage. So that's what she currently is. Of course you can see this down here. And of course a bunch of different these are basically the you know, the different choices you have for different races. You got humans, orcs, elves, of course, dwarven, halflings, goblinoids, feline, ratkin, toadkin, and molekin. Yeah. Anyway, so we're just showing off what, what the Veronica the currently is. So the culture is dark. You got feudal, high, barbarian, industrious, dark, and mystic. Dark gives us. Uh, cities can negate city stability, uh, so income penalties, uh, high st their city structures granting knowledge and and extra income from poison or prisons and crypts. You know, specialize in inflicting negative status effects and exploiting them with the cult of cold the weak. So deal 20% more damage to units with weakened. Attacking units with weakened grants the unit regeneration once per turn. And then alignment. Determines how free cities and other empires see you, affected by ruler traits and various actions. It affects the uh, relations with the free cities and empires with neutral or better alignment. In addition, a good alignment or better will increase the chance for positive random events to occur, while an evil alignment or worse will make negative random events more likely. High culture as an alignment agenda. So, basically, you get a minus 10 to your alignment as dark, which we are, or at least uh, what Veronica is. Their society? They have dwarves equals best game ever. Sure. And then you get to pick two society traits. We for Veronica's uh, little shadow elves. We want gifted casters, so that they have uh, ten combat casting points to represent your ability to channel the precise magical energies needed to cast spells during combat. You are revealed after each battle. World of map casting. So represent your ability to channel the powerful magical energies needed to cast spells on the world map. They are filled at the start of each turn. Combat spells cost 20% less mana to cast. So that's good, right? <laughs> and then starting bonuses. Start with one extra combat spell unlocked. So yes. Anyway, so gifted casters and then powerful evokers. They emanate raw power as they release uh, an endless barrage of destruction upon all in their path. Battle mage units. Come on, stay there. Battle mage units. So, casters, right? And support units have plus one to their rank. Rank is kind of like experience, similar to uh, how Master of Magic handles it. Uh, battle mage units and support units provide plus five combat casting points at the start of combat. And starting mode of start with an extra battle mage unit or support unit. So that's what we went for them. Choose your first tome. And then you get to choose your first spell book. So in this case, we want Tome of Souls. Aha, undead stuff basically. There's also Tome of Warding, uh, just for protecting uh, your basically protecting spells. Ev evocation, so damage, damage, damage. Pyromancy, burning damage. <laughs> Tome of the Horde. Turn your cheaper units into large, deadly anime armies. Specialize in summoning and buffing tier 1 units. Tomb of Rock. Tome of Rock. Tomb. Tome of Rock. Uh, smash your enemies uh, with the Force of Stone. Specialize in increasing your defense and dealing physical damage. Enchantment. Improve your units, uh, unit enchantments and specialize in physical damage. Tome of Beast. Walk beside the animals of nature. Specialize in summoning and buffing animals and become stronger when standing next to them. Tome of Roots. Discover the power of natural world and then specialize in immobilizing enemies and healing allies. Tome of Faith. Heal and support your units through the power of the faithful. Tome of Zeal. Rile up your fan fanatic population for a common goal. Units with zeal and inflict condemned on. Sorry, use units with zeal and inflict condemned on enemies. Cryomancy. 
ice. And then we're back here with the Tom of Souls. So that's the spellbook that we're starting with. What is your ruler's origin? And she's a uh, wizard king. And we have a champion. So all cities start with more gold and more city stability. All non-hero units gain plus 20% experience. Start with plus one with like plus 100 relation with three cities. A wizard king, though. Plus 10% mana income. Uh, world map casting points. Yeah, start off with five. Combat casting points per level. Oh, sorry. Per casting level of the Wither King that goes up. Wither Kings have the over channel ability in combat. <laughs> it basically allows you to cast two spells in one turn. Can only be used once per battle, but. Uh, ladies... Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the 10th year so in a magic. row here yep. on Twitch. Mrs. Gimpy, Reveal Mickey, yourself. Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised and two thousand dollars has been raised so far. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you and happy Tuesday. Okay, so, uh, this is basically the appearance of your ruler. In this case, again, is uh, Veronica. We're just looking. we're not changing anything on her, we're just showing stuff off. So we went very purple. Up, up at the top here, you get to pick your colors here. Went orange, kind of a pinkish, ring of black. We went with the dark purple. And then as you can see, it changes your logo too. So you get different colors here too, if you really want to go. But it doesn't seem to, it doesn't affect the coloring on your leader itself, so. Hey Ring, welcome back. Physical form. Physical form is uh, the race. Let's see, halfling, elf, human. Oh, sorry, orc. It's the races, is the physical form. Body type is male or female. Of course, that changes the outfit when you do that, so now I have to go do that anymore. Yeah. So, physique, hair, hair leg length, all that fun stuff, skin color, that's there. You can put tattoos and whatever, poses, change. So different poses. We went with the, the staff in hand. Uh, head that can't really see the head because we've got the helmet on. So there's different types of helmets. So there's none. Oh wow, it's when she changed the race it screwed everything. That is not her hairstyle it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. That's our hairstyle. Eye color you can change, but that's kind of like a... Can't zoom in quite far enough. The head is just uh, basically the face. I like that one. Then you got the hair colors. You can actually change the that stuff too. Which you can't really see there, but you can change the, the hair a little bit darker there. A little bit of redness in there. So that the outfit was unfortunately changed. I think it was like the first, I think it was that one. Yeah, I like this one because it matches the shoulder pads. Sidden Drow be more dark. She's not a drow, she's a shadow elf. Hey, Hobo, welcome back. Taco, welcome back. Be clear, this is not a drow, this is a shadow elf. Not a good elf, not an evil elf, somewhere in between. Not technically evil, even though they play with necromancy. Not evil. <laughs> hey Mozart, welcome back. So there's the oh, yeah, that's the right outfit we wanted. And then of course different helmets. That one. That's the one she's gonna be using. That one looks a little has a little bit of a dimensional control issue. Basically just headbands, or crowns, and there's a cloak, mask, it's a electronic type headband, another uh, face covering. 
hood with the face covering. Just a face, just an eye blindfold there. Another crown, another crown type thing. Like I said, we're going with that one. Are there any, are there non-evil elves? See, there are non-evil elves. Hood is perfect. Yeah, but I like this. I like this look for the spiky shoulders, the spiky headgear. I just like that look. Nibble Knot, welcome to the stream. So, anyway, there's your helmet, and then you got different capes. Um, now, what I don't like about this is the capes are connected to the shoulder pads. So, I'm not too fond of the actual cape, but I like the shoulders. Because the spiky shoulders match the hat and stuff, or the helmet. But when you start changing the cape, the shoulder pads change along with the cape. <laughs> so, like I said, that one, no cape. Like what I really wanted was, I think I wanted this cape with the spiky shoulder pads, I think it was, or was it that one? No, it wasn't that one either. Which one was it? There's one of the capes that I actually liked. I think it was that one. Yeah, maybe it was this one that I wanted. But uh, again, it doesn't, I wish you had, con the capes weren't connected to the shoulder pads. But anyway, that's okay, it's not a huge deal. Is this first play? Yes, this is. This is my very first play. Well, technically I was playing it like two hours ago, but but this is my first day of playing. So not super experienced. So I have no insights. I'm, I apologize. I have no insights. Okay, so that's appearance stuff, cape, and then armor colors. You can change this. This just uh, basically affects see black very dark red ick green ick I went with the gray see the gray makes uh looks really good it's first play of but Kim has an experience playing this kind of game <laughs> many years of this type of game many years so anyway so that's her general appearance and then you get to control what your uh, race looks like too. So it's a bunch of elves running around. That's all based on what you picked before. You can change their physiques a little bit to give them a little bit longer legs. Uh, skin color, of course. There is a blue option in here. So you could be drow if you really wanted to go that route. Oh, look, you can even go red. So there's your bluish type deal if you want to go the drow route, which we're not. We're going Elf route, which was, I think that's the one I picked. And you get to change your armor, army color as well. That's not horrible with the white, but we went with black. Was it black? Or did, was there a gray option? I think we went with going with the gray option. But they're also picking up the, the purple from the, the color of the, the logo. It was gray, that's what I thought. And then they have a, a hair color as well. We went again with the gray, and that's the way it is. So that's what they kind of look like. Oh, and then you get the different mounts. So you can start off with little white horses or big white horses. Uh, boars, wolves, other kind of wolf. Black horses, what we're using. Uh, little horses and that's that anyway we're using the black horses because it looks better in this with this color scheme so there's that Your so, journey begins. so and then you get to uh, pick the title you got shadow lord emperor shadow lady or empress of course you want shadow lady uh, first name is Veronica and last name the cold that random name actually came up with the cold on what that kind of fits so we went there and then of course you can change the name to whatever you want that's what we have. Ta-da. Now. See, it's just many choices for your races. Oh, there's so many. Or your factions. Many choices. OK, 
Okay, Veronica the Cold, new ruler, ruler emerges. Explore your surroundings and expand your domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choices will shape the new age of wonders. Tome of Souls is our first thing. Our Elfkin, Keen Sighted, Arcane Focus, Dark, blah, blah, blah. So, Tome of Souls. And our starting magic. Ice Shackles deals a... Uh, 14 frost damage and slows the target. Costs 200 mana. I think this is a research thing, is it? I don't know. Anyway, soul fire. Target of enemy unit takes uh, 10 frost damage and 10 fire damage. Adjacent enemy units are dealt 50% of the damage. So it's like a, a little fireball slash ice ball. And then soul overflow. This is a buff. Friendly units in a one hex radius. Um, gain strengthened. And plus 20... 20 maximum hit points until Hello the end everyone. of battle. Have the negative My name status is Veronica, and welcome so, to Gimpy's Twitch channel. To get smart. Oh, that's a lot. If you are enjoying what you spells. are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. Also, please remember that YouTube wants you to like and comment on his videos. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Tuesday. So, this is a starting army. Veronica, of course, is leading the army. And we've got uh, Warlocks. We have Weakening Bolts and Sundering Curse. We have uh, Dark Warriors. We have a Charge. Pursuers, which are... Uh, archers, and then uh, outriders, which are mounted archers. Well, cavalry, scouts. Nothing special there. Uh, buttons, auto-explore, uh, wait one turn, or guard. Which armors would aid this army in battle if it was attacked? Oh, it's all possible. Outpost uh, founding locations. Oh, okay. So all this stuff. Pastures when annexed plus ten to food it looks like. Bad guys. What kind of bad guys are they? Marauder guards. Oh little spiders. Are they goblins? Ogres? You have selected a unit and Moment. the unit panel. This panel shows the details on a unit and what the unit is capable of, as well as any weaknesses you could exploit. More men. Take some time to look around and familiarize yourself with your new surroundings. More men and their pet little spiders. Camera controls, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I guess we should go kill them, right? Oh, they're out of range, though. Nobody's in range, so I guess we go over there and maybe kill them next turn? Can we do it now? Next turn we get to kill them. Okay, so that's our movement there. Oh, Arcane Research over here on the right-hand side. Arcane Research enables you to learn new spells and acquire new units. The culture and tome you have chosen for your faction Determine the initial skills you can unlock through Arcane Research. Choose the skills. So, Bone Golem. Advanced rights allow the creation of Bone Golem. These can be created in a city by using souls or fusing uh, two skeleton units. Baneful Curse. Enemy units on one hex radius. Uh, sundered defense, sundered due resistance, and become weakened. Or Soul Binders. Uh, grants enchanted units base 90% chance of inflicting soul bound on base attacks increases the soul gain when the target is cut, killed so there's your sucking at the souls that you need to you know make bone golems and stuff 10% damage against uh, units with soul bound plus 10% damage so once you put this on them they take more damage shuffle research uh, show tome library or close we're gonna do soul binders Set production at Duskwatch. You have selected one of your cities. 
Cities are central to your economy and allow you to build more units for your armies. Drukari, I don't know who the Drukari are. I think you meant Druki, don't you? <laughs> and no, we are not. Uh, let's see, can we change the name of the city is the question. Yes, we can. As always, our capital is Rocketville. Okay, so what do we want to build? Uh, experimental chambers. Uh, Knowledge income, gold income unlocks underground laboratory. Cost, library. Knowledge income is plus 10. So we want gold and, inca and knowledge here. This is just knowledge. Shrine is mana income. Storehouse. Uh, increases food income. The workshop. Draft income, production income, and other product. Produce mint merchandise. So this is just generates gold. Converts 25% of production to gold. So this is when you're done building stuff. Jakari are the Dark Eldar and Warhammer 40k evil space elves. Oh. I thought the Druki were the important ones. Why would you be space elves? Don't we just want to be the evil elves of regular Warhammer? Not the one that left out the door or killed off the dwarves? Anyway, um, what should we build first? They suck out other souls. Oh, do they? Well, we don't suck out souls. We kill people for their souls. It's not the same. Draft income, production income. Um, stonemason, blacksmith. Let's work on the workshop first. Somehow I think production is a thing. Seeing that all these buildings require being, you know, lots of production. Mana. So at the top of the screen, we've got gold plus 34, mana's at 24. We have no souls coming in. Aww. Uh -huh. um, so just queue it up, I guess. Um, we'll go knowledge and gold for now. Mr. Hermph, thank you very much for the Prime sub. So thank you very much for nine months. There are your, come on, I throw a key, being picky, doesn't want to do it. There it goes. Okay, anyway, <laughs> thank you Mr. Hermph for the Nine months of support with Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. There's your Ronkin's recognition. One for each month. So, be for you to count them. Okay, so there we're building stuff. You have selected uh, one of your cities. Cities in Central, blah, blah, blah. So, food, draft, production, and other resources to develop your cities. Gold, mana, imperium, and knowledge are resources that can be spent on any city, unit, or spell. Locations and province improvements located in the city's domain will provide you with income. Structures can be built to improve your city. Select the hammer button located on the right side of the city. Stand on and choose a structure to build. We already did that. Cities also recruit your units. Units cost upkeep every turn. So keep an eye on your income to ensure you can pay for your units. Select the helmet button located under the production queue and choose a weapon to or unit to recruit. Um, this one? No, that's food. Oh, here we go. So city information. Uh, arcane research. Your empire will research the skill over time using your knowledge income. Once the research is completed, you will choose between three new skills. Works. Your armies can move a limited distance every turn. The distance they can move depends on the terrain they traverse. Okay, we already did that. Whenever an army moves into a hex occupied by an enemy army, it initiates combat. You are about to begin exploring your surroundings. While the wide world holds plenty of things to find, 
Two of the most valuable places you can come across are free cities and ancient wonders. Curious to see if this will turn out to be as good as Age of Wonders 3. I think it's better already. <laughs> but, eh. Um, expansion focus is manual, so we do that. Automatic production, no. Assign a governor. Do we have a governor? You have opened the governor assignment menu. No. Nope. Here you can see all available heroes that can become the governor of this city, along with the bonuses they would provide. Give a whispering stone to the city. This will possibly improve, passively improve your city's stability by two per turn to a maximum of twenty. Do we have a stone? How would we know if we have? Uh, that's not a stone. How do we know if we have a stone? I guess we click on the button. Guessing we don't have one yet. Change city name already did that. So province, no big deal. Build stuff there and recruit. Oh, we can recruit skeletons. We don't have money for the other ones yet. Skeletons, polearm unit. They are on dead. And dead unit with uh, lots of resistances, plus one or minus one hundred percent modifier to morale changes, immunity to poisoned. They belong to us, so they get still this stuff too. They're still elves, so they get all those bonuses, right? So Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the tenth year in a row here on Twitch. Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised and two thousand dollars has been raised so far. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. His character customization with sliders, you're interested. Well, it's not so much sliders, it's changing stuff. It's not really sliders. Well, some of it's sliders, but others are just changing your, your choice. And thank you, Rukuls, for the link. Looks very cool in terms of... Yes, it's got a fair amount of customization so far. And there's more coming, of course, with DLCs. So the question is, do I want to uh, recruit some skeletons that are going to eat up some of my souls? Yeah, sure, why not? Because we can't hire these guys yet anyway. We don't have enough money. We will next turn, but worry about that after. Okay, so that. Diplomatic overview. So we have two other rulers out there. It looks like quests. Military victory, expansion victory, stuff like that. Hero overview, just Veronica the Cold. Magic materials. Uh, it looks like we don't have any yet. City overview, so all the cities on one list, and then our armies too. Okay, so typical stuff there. Soul binders, Grants enchanted units. Oh, this is the thing we're researching. So, anyway, you have opened the governor assignment menu. Here you can see the list of heroes that can become the governor of the city, along with the bonuses they would provide. We don't have any more. Okay, so advice. Encyclopedia, rulers and heroes, camera controls, throne city. Didn't you have selected your throne city. Your throne city is the most important city in your empire. Current throne city is Rocketville. This is where you uh, build your wizard tower and where your ruler will reappear in when, sh when she perishes. <laughs> if you lose both your throne city and your ruler, you are defeated. You can re relocate your throne to any other city through this city information screen. Encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, encyclopedias. Rulers and heroes. So, select the hero with that. That. Open the hero panel. Select an army with a hero. Oh, then right click on. That's not really coming up, is it? Just her. It's 
Select an army with a hero. So, okay, there we go. I just uh, click right. Uh, right click on the hero. And there's your hero screen. You have selected a hero. Heroes lead your armies around the world. Only they have the authority to explore ancient wonders, construct outposts, or start a siege. You feel it. Inspiration for Master of Magic in every aspect. Yeah, people don't believe me when I say Age of Wonders was inspired by uh, Master of Magic. Until you actually start playing the Age of Wonders games, you go, wow. <laughs> and when you've been playing Master of Magic for a while, and then you start playing Age of Wonders, you're going, wow. <laughs> they really borrowed from Master of Magic. They really did. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, so inventory. So this is kind of cool. This is basically playing a a regular RPG with all the selections with the items you can put or get for these characters or heroes, whatever. So currently the only item she has is her Staff of Spirit, which she started with. Magic Blast, single magical attack at target unit. You can blind them. Base 90% chance of inflicting blind for one turn. And then Quick Stab, Pokey Pokey. So basically blast them with damage and blind them for a good measure. And we got still others to pick up. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the level up button. This is just equipment. We get the loot that we carry around. And this is going to be leveling up stuff, it looks like. We can adjust our appearance, but we don't want to. And of course, our stats. So, ta da. What else? Camera controls. Look, I did my job. Camera control. Oh, I can reset the button or camera by hitting the do this. Right the camera, hold this. Drag your mouse, press R to reset. Ta -da. Look, you I'm can smart. Take a closer look at the land by zooming in. Or get a better overview of the world by zooming out. You have reached the overview map. As you explore the world. You will have many threats and opportunities to consider. Use this to inform your strategies. <laughs> strategies. Hyperlinks and tooltips. You can always find out more about a topic if you ever need more information to inform your decisions. Hyperlinks. Okay. Advice? Uh, now we're okay on advice. <laughs> that was way too much. Best strategy equals kill them all. Isn't it nuke them all? Okay, I think that's it for our turn. Right? So, preparing to scout. Recruit a scout unit. Oh, we're not doing that. Discover an ancient wonder. Discover a friendly free city. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that goes next turn. Day two dawns. Now I get to beat up on these guys. You're about to enter combat. Inspect all participants and their combined strength before deciding if you want to fight manually or have your army automatically fight the battle. Okay, so we can just right click on these and see what they are. You can see ours as well. So, low risk battle, auto, manual, retreat. We will do manual combat just because that's what we're here for. This is the strength of the game. For those of you who missed the Age of Wonders Planetfall, this is basically the same game engine. Combat is the high point of this game, in all honesty. It's not building the cities and moving your stuff around on the map. This is this is what it's about, is the turn-based tactical combat. This is where the game shines. Of course you move the camera around, that kind of stuff. There's a little troops. Didn't they say there's only three? This is a support unit which can use magical abilities to heal and strengthen its allies. Vampire, sp vampire Spider Hatchling. Dread Spider Hatchling. The Fury. Those guys. Jason, welcome to the stream. This is my first day of the... Yes, this is my first playthrough. This is my first playthrough. They summoned them? Okay, I missed that. Okay, so our units down here. Dun, dun. So the white line represents our range. 
um, for weapon attacks, so we can worry about that right now. Because out of range. Couldn't, again, too far away to be shot. Out of range, out of range. So our Outrider. Our Warlock. And Veronica. And our Dark Warriors. So, you guys get in the front line. Hey, Redox, welcome to the stream. You have so many others on your list, yeah. Yep. Just gotta make decisions. <laughs> What's more important? What's more important in your life currently? Low foliage. So the trees actually provide cover? Or the grass does? Hmm. Anyway. Oh, that's right, she does this, uh, she gives everybody a little bonus when she defends around her that they're within one hex away. Can you remember the little gnome men? They're not gnome, uh, mole men. Mole men. So, up there. Jitspider. Hello everyone. Jitspider. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Your unit just if you are enjoying what you are watching, please click this the follow button in the lower right corner of the video the screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Mm. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Tuesday. So I'll bring the warlocks up here and blast the spiders. Or the, yeah, blast the range guys. Grazed? Grazed? What's this grazed stuff? Beat up on the spiders, I guess. Hey, side pipes, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Glazed with honey. Mm. It's a pin. Veronica. So I get to see the percentages of chance to hit. So, 100%. on those guys. Ah, almost killed them. Oh, look, they're blinded. And then over the right-hand side, we have spells we can cast. Ice Shackles. But we don't have mana for the other two. Right? Now it says mana 49. How much is this one? Don't have enough resources to cast this spell. Oh, we need more souls in order to cast these spells. Oh, this doesn't require souls. Who wants to be shackled? They want to be shackled. Taco. Did I see Shogunners? Uh, sounds familiar. But nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> uh oh, evil little spiders. 
teammates resisted. Wow, they're just running around everybody, aren't they? Uh oh, flanking. Ow. Ow. Poisoned. Stop poisoning us, please. Strategy like XCOM. Well, there's a lot of games like that though, these days. Warlock, blast these guys. So don't move, get three shots. Came out today? Well, this came out today too, so. <laughs> and in all honesty, I prefer these games over XCOM, so. Not that I don't like XCOM, I just prefer this style better. Veronica, 50% on that one. Unless you move. So 100% from, no, 100% from here. Last the bugs. Good bucks. Okay, Pursuer. This is our archers. Tackle average you just... Oh, no. I appreciate that, Taco. It's just I'm not really looking at other games at the moment. That's all. Okay, so that one or that one. Seventy. What are these ones? These are the wild speakers. So they're the ones with the poison and conjuring animals. Love the archers first. Mm -hmm. And because we've moved so far, and that's only get up to one attack. Oh, but this is going to be a flank, right? Looks like it's going to shoot them in the back. Grazed. <sighs> Grazed. Fine. Eye shackles. So that's, oh, that's just showing what they're going to do. No. So we're supposed to right-click on the gas. Different buttons to learn. Slow. So, it's not our turn. Looks like that's our turn. Oh, forgot to move out these guys. Oops. Wasn't our turn. Ow. Shoot them in the back. Mostly dead. Warlock should finish him off. Got him. No souls yet, though. Dark warrior. Charge. Charge. Hmm. That's a flank. This will be a kill more than likely. There we go. Blind the dead. Hey, victory. The replay. Do we want to watch the replay? Let's see what this looks like. Just out of curiosity. Always got to watch it the first time. So 
So we can actually move the camera around while it's replaying. Could be very spectacular, possibly. Pesky little spiders. So he, okay, that's why he moved because this foliage provides a little bit of cover, right? That's why we never got above seven percent to shoot him. Hey, bag of water, it is time to take a break. Go stretch your legs. Your next break is in one hour. Veronica, very good at blinding the dead. So I think the replay here is kind of cool. I mean, it's not something I'd want to watch every time, but maybe on bigger battles that are more important and that kind of stuff, but it's actually kind of cool. Because again, you're able to move the camera around. It's bounced, the camera's bouncing a little bit too much, but. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And we collected five souls. Most important thing. A hero can choose a new hero skill every time they reach a new level. You can choose how to specialize your heroes. Okay, well, I need to take a quick break. Uh, I am almost out of water. So I will be back shortly in a few minutes and we'll continue on. So thank you all very much for watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.